Hey guys, from Seven Seven here, and today I'm gonna bring you a video on um, the station, which is actually um, something one of you guys suggested I make. Um, I think it was Music Dude Seven Fifty Seven or Five Seventy Five. It was something that would numbers after. Anyway, so he basically suggests I do a station where it's pretty much just like you stop and then you go again if you want to go again. So I tried doing that and it didn't work too well because. I one I suck at real craft, like I real sh I wrote my thing. Like golly. I hate rails. Anyway. So, but any I kinda decided to make this thing and I literally spent hours trying to get it to actually this is how bad I am guys. I spent hours trying to get it to make it go straight and then turn if I wanted to turn and then go back straight again. But it just doesn't want to do that. It just doesn't like me. But anyway. So I ended up kinda compromising here. And I've got a little tiny, like, really, really tiny machine here, so that, um, these are cart dispensers, okay, and there's no carts in that one, because there would never be carts in that one, there's one in this one, just for testing purposes, and so, anyway, so these are my buttons, and this is my light too, which is cool, I've got an out of carts light, so that way, you know, if you press the button and no cart comes, and there's this light's on, that means there's out of carts, but anyway, so what you do to claw a cart, you just... Wait, that's the go button. I always get this mixed up, even though there's plainly arrows that I made, and I actually made the entire thing, I always get mixed up. And see, now this is out of carts, because there's only one cart in there. And this guy right here is just how it works. Um, he's detecting one cart, and see, he doesn't see a cart, he just goes and turns on. Anyway, so if I get in this... Let's go, we can just have ourselves a little ride around, and we can look at it and stuff. You know, this could go anywhere, I'm just gonna just an example. But anyway, so once it goes like that, you get off you get you get off of it, and it automatically gets sucked up. And I don't know if you can see that on YouTube. But what happens is this detector right here, real right here on the kind of ticks, and it's the rest of the pulse over to here, and it waits a little while, and then it triggers this filter which will take the minecart out of here and through the pipe into here and if this thing's full because it, if it takes more than three minecarts this is just a temporary solution but I've just got it pouring into lava because there's nothing else to do with it I mean you could have like a cart excess chest and stuff like that but that was kind of lazy and didn't look good anyway so that's, that's, that's really simple or it looks it took me hours to figure out because Unfortunately, you can't have a track going like. Of course, I ran out of tracks, right? Oh gosh, it's just me, you know. What I mean? Anyway, so you can't have a track going like that and then have it turn and switch. I tried the switch track, and I guess that probably would have worked. Actually, it most definitely probably would work. Like you got your cart. These things right here, they're supposed to make a turn one way or another when you get like a redstone signal. But the, the problem with that is that this does the exact same thing, just with, and it's completely simpler, if that makes any sense. I mean, look at this. Wow. And this big complex block, I mean, it doesn't do anything different, I don't think. Anyway, you probably, it probably does like tons of stuff different, I just don't know about it. But anyway, so that's pretty much the station. You just it goes in there automatically, gets like like taken up or whatever. Or, I don't I forget what it was. What it was called. Wow. It gets like destroyed anyway, and to here, and it goes into here. Then whenever um you ask for it, it's here. And oh gosh, where am I? Okay. And it triggers this thing, which plops a cart down here, which gets zoomed off in that direction. And you know the rest, and then it comes out, and you can go anywhere you want. The 
only problem with this is, as I explained, I kind of wanted it to be like you could go and you'd stop here at the station, you can get out and then like recycle your car if you didn't want to go in there. But it doesn't really work that way. You get, you get out no matter if you want to or not at the station. But then you can always just call a car. No, that's always the wrong button. Golly. Why don't I always do that? And then you can go off to wherever you want to go. It's just like a moment's delay. But I guess if you have like a big network, you know, there's a lot of stations. You may not want to. Anyway, that's how that works. And you can see it's getting pulsed out. And I'll, I'll go quickly because it might be cool. I'll show you the overfill. Overflow, not overfill. I'm not sure that's an overflow or not. Yeah, so it just goes down there into the transposer because this is a restriction pipe. And so what will happen is, like, restriction pipe basically you have to know how the magnet tubes work, and the magnet tubes go to the nearest inventory, so they have to always be trying to go to this thing. But the restriction pipe is like a, like a, if, like, all else fails, like, you go to this one, like a last resort kind of thing. If there's no other destinations, then this is what you go to. And then we've got the transposer and a lot of stuff. But anyway, I've been kind of, like, just, like, turning on it. You probably don't even hear that. But anyway. So, that has been the... I had to figure out what it was called. Wow, I'm just, I'm just not with it today. Station? Station, yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, seriously, I'm just like, uh, I'm just tired or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's been the station with Quartz of My 7 from Quartz of Minecraft. Um, have a great day, everybody.